You too. You too. You too. Y'all know it, y'all know it, I do sing, you know, I hit them hot, I read through Franklin and all them other good singers, uh, old school people, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, what's up people, what's up crew, we here today, today I am making my famous Ryan cookie sheet nachos, huge, 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 huge thing to make, it is very tasty and it fills up a lot of people, it's great for parties, it's great for activities, be great for just whatever or I eat half about myself personally. But it is great, great, great. Anyways, guys, it's gonna be real, real cool. We're gonna change up this video and how we do it. It's gonna be a little nice little more editing. Uh, more than I have doing here normal. Nor than normal. But it's gonna be really, really cool. But the ingredients is very, real simple. We got chips, them two dollar chips. <laughs> Don't act like y'all be eating two dollar chips, especially as black folks. We love them two dollar chips. It's cheap and it still does the thing. Okay, cool. All right, got that ground beef. Now you don't have to use this big one. If you do get big, we probably have to use by half. But I think I might. I don't know about it. Just use half, or I might use all. I don't know how it is. But then, what you need? Enchilada sauce. Don't use. I like enchilada sauce. To me, it tastes better. I mean, seasoning. Wow. Enchilada seasoning. I like it better than taco seasoning. Um, mainly because it reminds me of my granny and the way her meat to take when she used to cook her enchiladas. And then you're gonna need some refried beans, bang bang. You will need some queso. I use two drawers of queso. I usually like to make a uh, cheese dip. It tastes with the pork sausage or ground beef sauce, whatever. That tastes a lot better than, than the queso cheese, but that's what we're gonna use today. And then of course we're gonna use the nice tomatoes. We're gonna use the nice you need one tomato, by the way. One tomato, lettuce, okay, cheese. And then you can add whatever you want to add. So I will be adding, adding half guacamole with sour cream, and then of course salsa, picante sauce, okay. So again, it's real, real simple, it's real quick, it's real chill, and it tastes wonderful, okay. And then we'll make another video later on today for the dessert. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, it's gonna be a special surprise. That's what uh, my twin wanted to do, so it's what she wanted to do, and we're gonna do a dessert for the day. But yeah, guys, check it out, here we go.
hope y'all enjoyed the nice video of this famous Ryan Nachos. Again, this is good for events, this is good for parties, this is good for gatherings. This is good, you know, if you want to be lazy and cook, you know, for the family or whatever. And it's, it's, it's so many things that you can make this dish for. It's real simple, it's cheap, it's fast. It took us about 20, 30 minutes to make it. This is it. Hope y'all enjoy. I think I'm going to take the, take the first jab at it. Let's see. Oh, I don't want that one. Oh, yeah, I'm going to grab that one right there. Grab a little bit of Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's good. See y'all next time. Peace. Mmm.